Welcome back guys, Crypto for Life channel. Today we would like to talk about Dash, potential targets for Sound 23 at the next upcoming bull run with my custom indicator set. Let's dive in. This is a global chart uh, Dash USD, uh, monthly time frame on Kraken. Uh, this is a February 14. And like you can see from 14 till January 17, before the massive bull run, uh, three years, this coin laid down just in the accumulation stage. So somebody accumulate in this area 100%, 100%. And if we count with a magnet here, for example, from this bottom, from December 15, after two years, uh, somebody made it on the dash uh, over then seven, almost 74 thousand percent gains till uh, 1k and 600. That's why the uh, main consensus of all these uh, guys who uh, bought it here, who bought it here, who bought it here, they uh, think uh, on every single uh, new bull run, we have to beat the previous all time high. But it's just a narrative. It's just a fake. I don't know why people still believe in this uh, rumors, you know. So this is example. This is a top December 17, uh, January 18. This is a end of bull run. This one more end of bull run, uh, April, May 2021, not in November or something here. This was the end of bull run, you know, so this is how it works. And if we even open the line chart, you can find out. So this was the top, this is a downtrend. We going out of uh, by uh, sideways, we get out of this uh, downtrend. But the main downtrend can be like this one. For example, and this cycle, we can see higher than this high, but lower than this one and forming, for example, uh, 400 or even 600. And I would like to show you based on uh, FIB, how high we can pump based on the global FIB on a monthly time frame. It's yearly FIB, you know, so it's going to be a really, really interesting video. Uh, now, if we take a look uh, globally on a monthly time frame, we got uh, three uh, main gaps. A tiny one, bullish one, it's between 157 till uh, 164. So this one is a bullish monthly gap. Everything what you see above, all zones is already tradable. Uh, of course, we got uh, this order flow. We have to liquidate all these guys, you know, based on uh, this strategy, we have to liquidate this order flow and even liquidate this stop losses. A stop losses now uh, over then 476. So anyway, this zone will be like a magnet for uh, next cycle. How high we can pump, nobody knows, you know, but this is a minimal what we can see in the next cycle, you know. Uh, now we are came in to massive, two massive uh, monthly gaps. First one, it's 11. 50 till 1550. Uh, Next one is six, uh, 17 dollar till 32. We just test it, bounce it, test it, bounce it. All right, if we count uh, by FIB this gap here, we have to see that we tested only 30, 23 level by FIB. So, yes, we have a chance to drop till 24. 24 dollar, uh, we will close this monthly gap. So, from this current price, it can be drop around 25% and we will close this monthly gap. So all zones will be uh, done and we can pump it up. It's not necessary, so we have to close every single gap, you know, because I already uh, explained you, shown you on the Bitcoin, we got still got a, a lot of uh, monthly gaps uh, at 1K, for example, at uh, 300. And I, I'm not sure if we will come back and close these uh, gaps uh, in the next, uh, years you know but everything can happen if bitcoin going to zero so this is a, just a global gaps and a bullish gap and a monthly gap if we take a look now on a FIB, so this is a global FIB. this is how it looks like top let's go to weekly time frame top drop find a support bounce reaction collapse it down came in to 27 zone this is a really really wide uh, 27 zone and here uh, 27 level was uh, 38 uh, around uh, 39 uh, dollar we made the uh, drop here in march covid dump march uh, forming this range uh 3397 lower low and after three years we sweep this liquidity 
Uh, and like you can see, we are trying breaking out zero level, only zero level. So we walk from level to level. So base it on this FIB, more than good will be for the next bull run, more than conservative price is uh, uh, globally, globally, if we will see some crazy mass adoption, crazy institutional hype, the last hype, you know, around, uh, we can see it's 998 and uh, 1K, 145. So this is a global uh, only correction from this uh, FIB, from top in December 17. But uh, definitely I'm not sure and I don't think so, Dash will be the previous, uh, this high, you know. Uh, I think more likely we will beat this high. And we will see some, some of these zones, you know. So step by step you can mark your zone where you would like to fix your position. So don't build your, don't build some uh, crazy expectations. So 1.61, 2.61 or something, you know, because when, when people zoom out, uh, you can be trapped because uh, the same people who drop it here and in May 2021, they open it longs here and buying a dash at the 457 because they think we have to go and bid pretty sold them high in the next bull run. But <laughs> this bull run ends here and we collapse it down. So basically if we count uh, by date range here from the top, uh, we are over then 2030 uh, days in the downtrend. So now uh, I would like to show you just the local FIB mm, here. Uh, it, it's a chart looks uh, almost similar like a chart on a Bitcoin cash. So uh, you remember all these uh, uh, levels, you know. So here, this is a local FIB. Uh, yearly but local FIB uh, from uh, May 2021. You know, if we zoom in, this is a top, this is a drop, this is support, uh, almost a test 0.5 level by FIB. Now we came into a uh, local uh, 27 uh, zone. It's between 45 till 12. If we go to 12, we will close all uh, gaps, all monthly gaps. This one and this one. Uh, but uh, just to be honest, I'm not sure and I don't think so. We'll go and test 27 level. If we will test it, $12, it will be just amazing price uh, to buy in Dash, you know, if for, for on a spot. Uh, more likely, I, I can see something like this one, sweep this liquidity, forming the um, lower low, test uh, $25 uh, and skyrocket. Close this gap and go to the target. How high we can move? So based it on, on this FIB, we got major stop losses over the 79, uh, 139, uh, gap, monthly gap uh, at 164, and then go to 61 level by FIB, 336. So it will be only the correction to this drop. Also, if we zoom out, it's pretty interesting, you know, analyze the chart uh, when the coin got a history, you know. So here, uh, that 1.61 level by FIB, this uh, local, this one. It's only uh, 0.23 level by global FIB. So uh, around 669 till 700, it's only the correction on the global FIB to uh, uh, 0.23 level by FIB. 2.61, 1K, it's a little bit over than 0.5 level FIB. That's why more than possible, more than possible for Dash to see 23 level FIB globally, 700 or even 0.5 level FIB, 1,000, 1,000 per Dash. Yes, for long run, yes, it's more than possible, you know, if we'll see some institutional. If uh, once, one more time, we will see uh, the new uh, low, unfortunately, it can be like this one, we can drop to $12 and then make a correction to 0 0.5, 0 0.61 and then collapse it down to one more bear market. So for example, if we drop to 25, for example, 22, uh, we can made, uh, make a 100, 1,400. And yes, it will be still downtrend. So not every single uh, bull run will be the Bristol time high. That's why be careful. A most positive scenario, I think 1.61 is more than possible 700 for Dash. You know, but uh, keep in mind this scenario. So correction to 61 and drop it down uh, 
to new low. You know, to hit uh, 1.61, we dash have to make it around uh, 2k800. So we'll be also uh, more than good. And by the way, take a look on this uh, monthly uh, time frame on the Binance. So this is how the monthly uh, looks like, and this is a huge week. It's uh, 29k and 700. <laughs> it's crazy uh, listing on uh, October 17. So it was around here. It was a time to out of this coin. Uh, of course, you can tell me uh, we can come back and close 50% of this week, you know, uh, we have to hit 0.5 level of FIB, uh, 15k, but to be honest, I'm better, I will be more conservative and take profit to make money than just wait some uh, unicorns targets. Now, let's go and double check this chart with my customer care set. And I highly recommend you go and watch this big tutorial, how to work with my indicator set 6 in 1. ADZ. Uh, based on ADZ on the weekly time frame, if we zoom in here, what we got locally, this biggest accumulation was at uh, thirty-nine dollar uh, in uh, June 2022, and we forming that divergence. Uh, till after one year, we sweep liquidity till twenty-seven. So yes, basically, like you can see here, this is the divergence and the warranty on ADZ down. So uh, globally, yes, we have a chance to see something like this one and drop to from 45, from 18 level by feet to 25, for example, and forming one more. The warranty around, I don't know, maybe it's, maybe uh, winter, I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll see something even like this one and drop. It's hard to say. Maybe now we'll see uh, the drop, uh, but uh, we already forming the big divergence on the uh, weekly time frame. If we take a look on a monthly, on a monthly, like you can see, uh, we also form a divergence. That's why maybe it's going to be uh, more than enough uh, from 56 till this accumulation uh, till uh, 20, 27, this uh, yearly divergence. So look, first accumulation, the biggest was in January 19. And accumulation here in June 23. Imagine four years after four years, the wells forming the divergence on a monthly. And here, here's how it looks like. That's why we need distribution. We need a distribution, and we can see something like this one. So this, there is no divergence, but we can see something like this one, you know, on the chart, and new high, for example. And in this area, everybody jump in because uh, start thinking we will beat the previous all time high of uh, zone 17. Maybe some major news will appear, or, uh, will appear in the market. I don't know. But it can be the trap. So basically, now we're in accumulation on a monthly and on a weekly. Uh, but have a chance to form a lower low. Uh, lowest point I showed you, it's uh, 27 level. It's $12.25. Uh, let's take a look on uh, crypto flight direction. Here is crypto flight direction. Uh, here was a signal to sell on a weekly. You know, uh, here was accumulation, biggest accumulation ever uh, since uh, January 2022. Here from uh, eighty-six dollar till now, the big players accumulate. So it's a good sign. It's a good sign. Let's take a look on uh, uh, market mood on a weekly. Mm, every single time when you see the white color in the market here. Uh, June 18, September 18, we lay down, then pump it. Here we got a pump uh, 200, then come back down once again. And from this low, uh, when we saw last time yellow zone or white zone, here, not even a COVID dump, uh, we made 1,000%. So now, once again, the same story. So this levels is around here at this zone. So we form the new uh, drop here. So basically, if we will make 1,000% gains, yes, it will be 0.5 level by FIB. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes, if the history repeat, if the history repeat from this, uh, this belief zone. Let's take a look now on monthly, on a monthly, Imagine on a monthly we came into this blue zone. That's why, yes, it's one more reason why we can see 700 per uh, dash in the next cycle. Uh, most conservative price, it's uh, 300, uh, 400. Uh, most positive scenario, it's uh, 700. 
you can have your own opinion you know you can have your own vision of this uh market you know of this coin you know it just i share just my uh, thoughts uh trade on uh, based on trade on on the weekly time frame we still didn't see any signal to buy unfortunately unfortunately so this less time signal to sell recommendation close position drop take profit signal to buy recommendation close position drop signal to buy so from last signal to buy we pump at one thousand percent till less signal to sell now from last signal to sell we just got only recommendation close position that's why yes we have a chance to drop down uh we will see this money back signal to close all shorts and open a long or buy in a spot with signal to buy it's not necessary so this uh, signal up here but uh, would be good to see you know on a monthly time frame see a signal to sell recommendation close position so now nothing new on a chart so better uh, or now start accumulate uh, anyway, if you start accumulate now, I don't think so. It's gonna be just a mistake if you accumulate uh, from uh, 32 till uh, 12. Your average entry can be around 25, for example. So for a long run, it's uh, more than good. You know. Let's take a look on the last indicator. Is take profit on a weekly. Uh, what we can see now. Now we're trade under from the price. Uh, take profit line. Now uh, it's around over the zero level. It's 100. 13 exit line 128 all these lines are dynamic that's why we have a chance or curve up like this one or collapse it down based on some news uh sweep liquidity forming the biggest divergency and start uh, pump it up uh, so this targets i showed you on a monthly uh yes it's one more reason why we can pump uh, harder even after this drop because uh, not all coins got to take profit on a monthly because um, not enough history but uh, on dash we got this data so we're trade under from the price on a monthly and take profit on a monthly it's uh, 216 so this level 0 0.23 level by FIB, it's only will be the correction to take profit line then we can drop it down one more time to the buy line on a monthly so this is how it works guys if you want to trade with my custom indicator set what i showed you in this video only for one dollar per day just write me dm all links will be on the description below and you have to know this indicator set works even on the free trading you plan so guys i hope you like this big video about a dash subscribe channel his like button his notification button don't forget to join my telegram channel see you next time guys